Well, one set of players and supporters will be feeling the blues tonight. It is Everton who are in blue on home turf. Chelsea in their change of white. And it will be Chelsea to get the action underway. Looking to continue their relatively recent run in FA Cup quarter-finals. They've won all of their last four that they've played in. Gary Cahill managed to find Aspilicueta for the first throw of the afternoon goes to Everton. Martin. Interested to see Ross Barkley playing in that central role. He's been excellent so far this season. He's a shining light, but their home form here has been nothing short of a disaster, and the FA Cup, they want to put that right today. Barkley dispossessed. Barry finds Baines. Nice ball into Cleverly, who registers the first shot on target. 40 seconds into the match. Well, it's cleverly, isn't it, coming in off that left-hand side. Just coming onto his right foot. Comfortable save for Courtois. Cracking noise around Goodison Park. It's rarely any different from that. Well, I lo just loved it playing here. Great atmosphere. Of they course, love everybody a associates you with Arsenal, Martin, but you had quite a long spell at Goodison. I did, nearly four seasons. And uh, one thing they, li they like here is someone who puts their foot in they like that quality as well, we were following on from a very successful Everton team, but thoroughly enjoyed myself here. Chelsea fans playing their part too. Of course, there's a, an extra allocation for visiting supporters when it comes to the FA Cup. And they've sold their allocation, they've travelled in great numbers and making a great noise. And here's Lukaku. He used to hold the ball away from Kennedy. Flag is up against Seamus Coleman. Just wandering offside there, Coleman. Fascinating to see Lukaku, isn't the player that was allowed to leave Chelsea. And then the other end, Costa, how long is he going to last? Against PSG, I thought he was probably the best of the season. But Lukaku now starting as a turn into the player, Everton, the Martinez expected. 23 goals already. Eight more than Diego Costa has scored for Chelsea. Lukaku never did find the net in a Chelsea first-team shirt. Played for them 15 times, but only four times for the start of games. I think that will make him extra motivated today, though. He's yet to score against them since leaving Chelsea in four appearances. Here's Kennedy. Nice bit of skill, supported by Pedro. And Kennedy there, a little wild with the final effort. And a great bit of adventure shown by him down the left. Well, he's a fullback who likes to get forward, there's no doubt about that. So good early ball, Furness Morris keeping everybody on side. Good bit of skill comes inside onto his unfavoured right foot. And it's a poor finish from there. Just skying it. It's Kennedy finding Matic. And now Ivanovic. Interesting Matic now playing in that midfield with Mikel, just maybe a little bit more solid. Fabregas still likes to look for it, looks to roam, but he's probably going to be more often at the top of that midfield rather than at the bottom. Mikel. Matic. Fabregas immediately pounced upon by McCarthy, but he got the ball away to Branislav Ivanovic. Now Costa, who was allowed to turn by Coleman. Fabregas trying to combine with Pedro. Danielka in charge. And Lukaku. Lennon. What a resurgence in form. He's been enjoying in an Everton shirt lately. Now William for Chelsea. With Aspilicueta wide. He chose the wrong option there, the top of the screen, Fabregas screaming for the ball. Willian, though, is the standout player this season, is it 10 goals already this year? Quite incredible, really, how he surpassed the Hazards in this team. Nobody else really performing to the level that he's at. Six of those ten goals scored direct from free kicks. 
Here's Bates. Once upon a time, in an FA Cup tie against Chelsea, scored a cracking free kick of his own. Lukaku was being pushed and pulled a little too much. Michael Oliver tried to play advantage. Seamus Coleman actually kept it in, but only after the whistle had gone, because the ref didn't feel that the advantage was developing properly. He thought the ball was going out of play there, the referee. Michael Oliver. Good feet from Lukaku, nice and tidy. Mikael just gives him the foul. I think the referee's done well there. That's Barry. Well, very tight between Matic and Pedro. Gareth Barry. And Funes Mori, who is effectively keeping John Stones out of the side now. Fabregas. Pedro. Fabregas drifting forward, but won't get onto that ahead of Jagielka. It should be nice and comfortable for Ivanovic, and it is. He finds Matic. He runs into McCarthy. Does a good job, McCarthy, in that midfield, doesn't he, with Barry, particularly that screen. That's how they mount their attacks from that platform. A bit of FA Cup pedigree of sorts in the Everton team with Joel Robles and James McCarthy in the Roberto Martinez Wigan side that won the cup three years ago. Gareth Barry, a winner with Manchester City and twice a runner up, once with City, once with Aston Villa. And there's Tom Cleverley, of course, who played in the cup final just last season. Good decision not to sign for Villa, wasn't it? And another good decision. It's a foul on Leighton Baines, committed by Cesar Azpilicueta. Big day for Leighton Baines, not seen a lot of him lately. Recovering from that ankle injury, surgery that he had. Definite foul. Yeah, you would think he needs a, a run of games and has to find a bit of form if he's to make his way into the England squad for Euro 2016. Ray Lewington here today will be keeping a close eye on him, of course, that's in the back of his mind, but he'll want to get to a cup final, that's a semi-final first, of course. The same could be said for John Stones, too. Well, it's quite remarkable, isn't it, since the, the League Cup Man City game hasn't really featured too much. I know he had an injury, he was taken off at half-time last week. Things not going his way. And back to Cahill. He's looking for Pedro, who was looking to stay on side but didn't manage it. Well, he's come in a very central position, trying to catch out this Everton line. It's a very high line. Just didn't time his run. He checks out and then makes his run again. He's, he's a mile offside there. Clever. Trying to swing it Lukaku's way. Courtois read that one from the moment... It left the boot. There's Aspilicueta. William. Mikel. Look how quickly McCarthy comes in to close and to press. Diego Costa. Arm held by Barry. Everton trying to press high. Costa just getting caught by Barry. I'm sure I speak for quite a few watching when I say that I would have loved to have seen you come up against Diego Costa. Well, unfortunately, we can't put the clock back, but I, he's the one player I might... I would love to go back to... If I could travel backwards in time... Listen, he's a great... I, the game against PSG is the best I've seen him play all season, and then suddenly he goes off with an injury, so I question that as well. There's a foul there, definitely. But how injured was he when he came off the other night? I'll tell you what, he's wound up after that Gareth Barry foul, and he's... Well, uh, collided with him there, and Everton think that that was somewhat sinister and deliberate. Well, was it an arm in the face, into Barry's face? Well, it's just happened immediately after the previous foul on Costa, that, and that will just enhance the Everton feeling about it. Well, this is the infuriating side of him, isn't it? He, he seems to have to wind himself up and be a nuisance. He's going across to Barry now. 
Kenneth Barry took uh, quite a hefty hit. Mm, well, it's good disguise if he's tried to do that. For me, it looks an accident. It's just two players coming together, it catches him, but... Mm, yeah, from that angle, he's put the elbow in a little bit. He's getting booked for it. I think it's just about the right decision there. I think we could tell that was happening. You saw Michael Oliver say to a couple of the Chelsea players, I know, I know, and he gave himself quite a bit of time to think about it. But you never know with Diego Costa. Only he knows what's going on in that head. He loves to play against his opponent, doesn't he? He's just on the edge at all times. Just leaves the arm in a little bit. Barry might have made the most of that as well, of course. So ten minutes in, and uh, the man who always courts controversy when he lines up for Chelsea is in the book already, and it's the ninth time in domestic games that he's got a yellow card this season, so ten means a two-match ban, and we're not quite at the cut-off date yet. Another month to go before then. It'd be nice to get on with the game, wouldn't it, instead of having to deal with Costa the whole time. Never far away, is he, from controversy. Here's Funes Mori. Barry. Got it away from Fabregas, but far too far away from anybody else in a blue shirt. Mikel. William. It's Costa taking a tap from Funes Mori, for which the Everton defender immediately apologises. Definite foul. But any contact he gets, he's on the floor. Just holds it up, steps inside, and he's over. Talking of controversial figures, Chelsea's captain back in their squad today and going through his first stretching of the afternoon. I think he'd be using his influence in that dressing room as well to get this Chelsea team back on track after a bad, a bad display in midweek. And this competition has always been huge for him. He's won it five times, he's been Chelsea captain four times. And there's Lennon, and that's going to bounce behind. And you just think, with it being the end of an era, with John Terry nearing the end of his Chelsea career, how he would love, in this season of nothing much else now, to go out winning that famous old trophy again. Gus Hiddick has done it before, hasn't he, in that interim period as a manager. He'll be looking to do it again, I see no reason why not. Got to get past this t very good Everton team first. And it is a very good Everton team, but I feel it's underachieving so far this season. So do a lot of Evertonians. Not by Clever. Yelka. Barry. Looking for Lukaku. Good strong header from Cahill. Very good there. Down holding his ankle. I think once he's landed, maybe he's twisted his ankle. Diego Costa. Nice bit of skill away from Barry. That's Pilicueta. In comes Barry. Free kick for Chelsea. Gareth Barry at the heart of it again. He's unfortunate there. Williams shows an awful lot of the ball and miscontrol, I think. Comes inside. Just gets That's a toe on it. Sorry, Martin. There's Aspilicueta with the cross. Just thought he might have uh, picked out Diego Costa there. There's Ivanovic. Kennedy. Pedro showed too much of it to Coleman. Lennon, though, will be beaten by Nemanja Matic. Pedro still down after his brush with Coleman. And McCarthy trying to thread it through to Lukaku. We're getting a few tackles. The pace of the game's increasing, and so's the heat. It's all being turned up. This is what the Evertonians want. They want them to get in and press. Press high and Harry after that ball. Pedro taking one from Coleman. 
Just shows too much of that ball. Good honest challenge, nothing wrong with that. It's nice to see a good old-fashioned challenge now and again, isn't it? It will be an Everton throw once play resumes. That will only happen once Pedro is helped back to his feet. Let's hope it's nothing serious. His comments were interesting yesterday when asked whether it was a make-or-break game, not just for the season, but possibly in terms of his Everton tenure. He just doesn't see it like that. Has that feeling? Well, he is under it. Of course, he's under pressure because the ownership was coming in here. I think they'll give him time. Bill Kenwright's still on the board. It's a real family club here at Everton. But you've got to do it on the pitch. I should say that for all the questioning of Roberto Martinez recently, Everton are in the Premier League, ten points better off this season at this stage than they were a year ago. And they have won five of their last seven games. The biggest problem has been here at Goodison Park, where they just can't seem to, as was demonstrated by West Ham last week, win enough games. Well, I think there's 14 points they've thrown away from being in winning positions this season, and that's really not good enough. And maybe that suggests the manager doesn't really know how to shut up shop when they're ahead. Great bunch of players he's got. I think it's the best Everton squad in many a year. Courtois buying himself every available second. Barkley beat Mikel, who thought he was being unfairly levered out of the way. Got the feeling as this develops, there's going to be quite a lot for Michael Oliver to keep his eyes on. Hill has uh, managed to jog off the slight turn on his ankle as he landed after winning a header a few moments ago. Matic. Kennedy. In comes Lennon. Coleman, that's a late and reckless challenge from Kennedy. Listen to the howl from the home fans. They're demanding a yellow card for that. Doesn't look as though there's going to be one. Kennedy just going in. A little bit. No, there's nothing in that. Players have got to clo close the ball down. Don't like seeing people trying to get other players booked. Of course, the faithful here are reacting, doesn't help. Referee did well with that. They're not going to be a bit more careful putting the brakes on at times as well, though. Yeah, of course. But, you know, you're going full full belt trying to get the ball back. Occasionally, you're going to run into your opponent. Here's Leighton Baines. Lukaku. Barkley couldn't trick his way out of the tight spot. Matic. Pedro. Diego Costa uh, played it against Phil Jagielka. It's out of play. It's Everton's throw. And just down near where that throw, or near ish where that throw is going to be taken, is Graham Lasso. Let's get Graham views on what he's seen so far. Guy, I'm in absolutely fantastic position in between the two benches down here. I'm more or less a substitute for Chelsea at the moment in terms of uh, my position. But it's really interesting. The energy that Everton have got is, phen is phenomenal. They're closing Chelsea down at every chance. The danger is with both ba Barry and McCarthy pushing on. It's allowing Diego Costa to drop off the centre-backs and pick the ball up in front of that back line, and that's an area that must be a concern for Roberto Martinez. Thank you, Graham. More from Graham a little bit later on. Unless, of course, he gets on for Chelsea. Here's Mikel. Graham, a cup winner with Chelsea in 2000. Martin proudly told me he can treble that. <laughs> I always remember the one I lost, though, in fairness, against Liverpool. Don't know how we lost that. Chat called Owen did quite well. He did all right. Tony Adams should have been marking him though, never mind. <laughs> it's always the fella next to you. <laughs> In goes Jagielka. Another tasty challenge on Diego Costa. Nothing wrong with it, the ball was won. 
but no, certainly lot of Everton energy. know who they're tackling. Certainly did, he knows. Just a little ball in there, Jagiel coming from the side. Plenty of energy into that one. Abregas lets it run for us, Pilicueta. William. Fabregas, Matic on the move in and around the area. Here's Fabregas. He's trying to poke it through to Costa, who's on the floor again after a brush with Jagielka. No, nope. again, theatrical, looking for anything he can get. Not a foul for me. Going to test this referee today, that's for sure. Pedro, Fabregas. You know who's in the middle. And Jagielka prevents the ball from reaching him. Lukaku, Leonard did well against Kennedy. Barkley. Lennon down after Kennedy's challenge, and that will be a free kick for Everton. Just looking at Costa here, look, just making contact with the defender. Listen, it's just normal contact in the box. He's, he's trying to get across the front of Jagielka, he's not letting him get there. So he takes a dive. I'm sure the guys in the studio see it differently, but for me, that wasn't a free kick. No way. Here's Funes Mori. Baines. McCarthy. And there are Funes Mori again. He was a scorer when these sides met at Stamford Bridge. In January in the Premier League, 3-3 draw, thrilling game and all the goals in the second half. So, plenty to keep us entertained today, hopefully, too. A game that was very memorable for a very late John Terry equaliser for Chelsea. Eighth minute of injury time and offside claims, too. Valid ones. Lennon doing a really good job defensively for his team and I think he's targeting Kennedy a little bit in 1v1s. He's got good pace. Sort of re-emerging this season, Lennon. Certainly in recent weeks, he's back in the Everton team and scoring goals are plenty, which hasn't happened for a few seasons. McCarthy. He's spinning wildly, but controlled by Pedro. It's pretty aimless from Branislav Ivanovic. I think that's what we're going to see Ivanovic from the rest of his career now as a central defender. Lukaku. Barry. Quarter of the game gone. Everton nil, Chelsea nil in the FA Cup sixth round. Wembley awaits for the winners. Only Crystal Palace have booked their place in the last four thus far. Baines. Coleman. Lennon, just too quick for Kennedy, who's caught him again. And now Michael Oliver will have a word with the young Brazilian. Lennon's just too quick. It's just his timing. And you can hear the boos just growing in volume from the Everton fans because they've realised this will be just a word, not a card. Well, it's just, he goes in, it's his angle of approach. He needs to de-accelerate there, he gets caught. There's no doubt it's a foul. He's cynical as well, he steps on him. No booking. One more, even minor offence away. That's a good ball. And a chance, perhaps, but it was neither ball into Lukaku nor shot from... Well, it was a shot from Tom Cleverley, but it was way off beam. It's a lovely ball from Barkley. And I think he just thinks he can just turn and hit that. Hasn't quite got the quality to go with the idea. Just got the one goal for Everton so far, the 
late winner at Newcastle that came on Boxing Day. I remember Tim Sherwood at the end of last season in his loan spell with Aston Villa saying that he should get ten goals next season, thinking at the time he might be a Villa player. The ball beats Lennon, but what a test that's going to be on that side now with the wily Lennon using his experience against the 20-year-old Kennedy. Well, the ball just going out of play there, but that is the pass. Get it to Lennon, test the youngster. It's Pedro. Keeps giving the ball away, Pedro. Everything's 100 miles an hour for a player who's played at a very high level. You expect more composure from him. Barry. McCarthy. Coleman sprints past Aaron Lennon. Lukaku wants it. Cut out by Mikel and then very awkwardly turned behind by Ivanovic. Well, Everton very strong on that right-hand side. Pedro nowhere to be seen defensively. Coleman on the overlap. Dennis Mori and Chagielka will come forward. Lukaku, of course, will be in there. This is where Baines coming back into the team. He's got really good quality, he really whips the ball in. And it is a ball of quality. Just too many white shirts and Thibaut Courtois there for Everton's liking. Chelsea pulled everybody back. More quality from Baines. And towards the Kaku. Just too high for him. It was a a searching ball from Coleman that gets the thumbs up from his striker. Certainly was, it was a teasing ball. Just a little bit too much weight on it. Lukaku can't get above it. Acknowledging the pass. He's certainly the key man to go to. Courtois looking for Diego Costa to win that. It's Gareth Barry who does. This time it was a fair challenge. Ivanovic, again, just a little wild and woolly with the clearance. Well, he's saying, he, where was the shout from the keeper? He could have gone back, but, you know, he's, it's his decision, he's on the ball. Seems to have come back to form, by and large, though, the Serb, after a, a pretty poor first half of the season, but that goes for quite a few Chelsea players. Well, he has, and I think he's a leader. That's what, above all else. They need that spine back in the team. Think of the old days of, of Drogba in there and, and Pedacek at the back, Lampard. That's pretty well disappeared now. That's a Spilicueta, Willian on. Baines. Just wanting to find cleverly. Lillian can only bundle the ball out for an Everton throw. Jagielka. Lennon. Kennedy's done really well against him this time, and he's off. Blocked by Jagielka. The referee thinks that was a purely accidental collision, though. The game goes on. Well, it looks like Jackie is actually trying to get out of the way, I will say. They are so hard to judge. Certainly at breakneck speed like that. Well, he is. He's trying to get out of the way. Good decision from the referee. It was, and he couldn't have been better placed to see it either. Mixed bag from Kennedy so far. Certainly, but he's gonna he's not gonna change his game, is he? He's gonna get as tight as he as he possibly can. Lovely touch from Barkley. Didn't quite have enough to get truly away from Mikel. Quite quiet in the game so far, Ross Barkley. Yes, but he's developing nicely this year. Good news for Roy Hodgson. Adding goals to his game as well. He's got a dozen this season. I think more goals and more assists than any other English player. 
in midfield. Mikel on to Fabregas. It was a quite lazy attempt to find Pedro. Coleman. Being badgered by Fabregas here. Did well to get out of that. He's an important player, Coleman, isn't he? Coming to the game very late. And they bought him from Sligo. What a wonderful signing he's turned into. Never panics. This is now 214 Everton games later. Established Irish international too, of course. He'll be in their party for France. Certainly will be. He's an important member. That's getting ever closer, the European Championships. Can't wait. Baines is doing everything very safe, isn't he, on this left-hand side? Just hasn't played for a while, doesn't want to overextend himself. I'd like to see him be more confident for such a senior player. Ivanovic. It's McCarthy up above a static Mikel. Pedro. Fabregas finding quite a bit of room in the centre circle. Almost right on the centre spot. Diego Costa. In came cleverly. Costa not bothering immediately to try to retrieve possession. No, he's lost it cheaply, but he takes up very good positions. Pedro. Matic with him. Coleman there too. That's poor from Pedro again. Lennon. Lukaku, I think, will be offside if he gets to the ball. And the flag is up. Just wants that ball in this in the space, Lukaku. We haven't seen that pace that he has. Sometimes I feel that's a better ball for him. Just get him to get him to chase after one. Costa. Here's Matic. Mikel. Everton just giving themselves a bit of a breather. Yes, Chelsea just happy to have the ball for a change. William. Very patient build-up. Barkley's turn to try and squeeze Chelsea in possession. Baines took a, a bit of a knock as he won that in front of Aspilicueta. He needed to keep his eye on that one. Good defending. Fabregas. Aspilicueta unsuccessfully tried to take on Baines. Chelsea building, They've been creeping forward for a good few minutes now and had the ball for most of that time. And they'll keep it again. Fabregas. Javielka to knock it out from whence it came. Just asking a few questions here, knocking on the door, Chelsea. Mikel. The spell of blood and thunder on the field. Now it's a, a time for Chelsea to probe, and Pedro might be in on that. He was. Robles did well to not slide fully into his fellow Spaniard, and uh, Pedro ran out of room. Well, you give Fabregas that sort of time and space. It's a great little ball in there, just a little bit too much on it. Heavy touch from Pedro. Maybe a better touch there, and he could have maybe made more of it. Good pass, good run. Not the best of touches, though. And three Spanish Cups, the Copa del Rey, whilst with Barcelona. Mind you, what didn't he win with Barcelona, Pedro? The lot. But a nice 
Chelsea can go all the way in this FA Cup, they won't be winning anything this season. Fabregas. Diego Costa to Pedro. Fabregas wants it, he's got some room again. Started to happen too often from an Everton point of view. Diego Costa. And to back here into Fabregas' path. Lennon and Coleman combined to block it. Now Lukaku. Look at Lennon down the right. Barkley through the middle. Not there, though. No, but it's those three players. Barkley, Lennon, Lukaku, real pace on the break. Just feel at times Everton just overpassed the ball, though. Going into Lukaku would be their best bet. Playing the ball into channels, test this Chelsea defence more. Lennon offside. Just being patient, Lennon and timing the run. Stay on side. They have not stopped. Every Chelsea fan here today arrived to their seat inside Goodison Park to find it bedecked by a scarf. Presents from the club. And they're all being worn proudly. William. Kennedy. Diego Costa. Where to next? What happens next with him? William. I have to hold off Barry again. Looking for Diego Costa. Control there to help him if needed. Diego Costa looked as though he didn't need him. And it's Baines who stops his merry little run. Well, it's ironic, it's Costa in the wide positions when you want him in the box. Keeps drifting out to these wide areas, the ball's not really coming in. It's a very patient build-up from Chelsea, but is it effective? It certainly isn't. You see, even when Baines won it there, he couldn't resist just hanging his leg a little bit towards him. He loves it, doesn't he? William, Pedro. William, Fabregas took a defender away. William, though, played it into a crowd. Chelsea looking more threatening just at the moment. Pedro. They've had more of the ball. Haven't managed really to threaten Joel Robles' goal with it, though. I feel they need to move it quicker, take fewer touches with the ball. They get it wider and then start putting balls into the box. Fabregas. I think they're happy just to take the sting out of the crowd. Hill to Aspiliqueta. William. Aspiliqueta. Oh, did he get rid of that too early? Well, Fabregas has managed to win it back. Here's Pedro. Fabregas. Pedro won't get there. And only just stops himself from going headlong into the Gladys Street. Well, it's almost too intricate. Too clever for their own good. Fabregas again, I'm wondering, you know, should this ball just come in? He tries to play a delicate little pass, which is an all. It's out for a Chelsea throw. You can see Chelsea edging ahead in terms of keeping a hold of the ball. Just that one effort on target from either side, and that was very early on. Cleverly shot, bringing a pretty routine save from Thibaut Courtois. Not the best clearance from Courtois there. Good catch, though, from Martinez. Lukaku moved away, Ivanovic stepped forward. Sean 
Robles looks for Lukaku, who wins that one. Here's Lennon. Nice footwork again. Has been talked that Aaron Lennon could work his way back into England plans. He hasn't actually played for England since February 2013, but I suppose now's the time to impress. No, quick feet there. It comes back to McCarthy, and I felt the diagonal ball was on to, to switch play quickly from an Everton point of view. Well, Roy's not here, but Ray is. Ray Lewington is the England spy in attendance today. Back to Joel Robles. Lukaku. Kanovic in front of Lennon, trying to stay there. Kennedy. Asked a lot of Mikel with that. Mikel did very well. Drew McCarthy in and let the ball run through. Fabregas then just lost his bearings for a moment. And the ball. Kennedy. That's Pedro. That will be Jagielkas. Coleman. Bates. Barkley comes deep to get himself involved in the game and promptly gave the ball away to Matic. Jagielka had a swing at the ball but caught only Cesc Fabregas. Costa goes on, he's been fouled too. First free kick's already been whistled for. And Jagielka's going to get a booking. Yeah, rightly so there. He swung wildly at that one. Michael Oliver right on the scene. Cesc Fabregas on the floor, just to fall into him, just takes takes a real wrap there on the shin. It's wild. It's a misjudgment from Everton's captain. He doesn't make too many, he doesn't get too many bookings. I make that actually his first this season. Quickly apologise to Cesc Fabregas, as well as looking skywards and cursing himself for the error. Might be a big error with Chelsea having a free kick in this position. Well, it's a perfect area for them. There's no doubt. No guesses for who's going to take it. Willian looks favourite to me. Well, he's the man who's fired in six goals direct from free kicks this season. Still heavily hobbling. The other option is that William leaves it to an Ivanovic power blast. It surely will be William, though. It's up and over, and it needed tipping over by Jean Robles. This season, that is just William. Well, it's a smart save. We've almost been starved of action in the goal mouth. Keeper sees it all the way, expected to make it. Might have been hitting the bar. Sean Robles didn't take any chances and William will go all the way across to take the Chelsea corner now. They don't, seem, like, they don't seem like they're in a rush to take it. We're into the 45th minute now. Or now. In from William. It's a flying Joel Robles to punch away. That's Piliqueta. A few groans from Chelsea fans at the way he had to go back with the Kaku closing. Not great again from Courtois. Kick to nowhere. Good pressure from Pedro on McCarthy, then from Lennon on Pedro. Everton's ball. Jagielka. Here's Fabregas. 
He's cleverly trying to get the ball back quickly. That might be Baines. Can't stop Aspilicueta though. William. Fabregas. Now William reacts, wanting the free kick. Perhaps genuinely hurt as we go into two minutes of injury time. And the game carried on without William, who's not made much of an effort to get back involved in it. Coleman. Lennon, nobody there except Gary Cahill for Chelsea. Everton at the times are the architects of their own problems, giving the ball away, Jagielka, in the build-up to that one. Diego Costa hits the deck again, doesn't get anything for it. He looked first at the ref, then he turned to look at the Chelsea bench for some support. One goes late and Baines for Everton. Pulled back four cleverly. It was going wide, and it was uh, easy enough for Courtois to save and hold anyway. Well, that's the first time you've seen Baines really go for it down that left-hand side, pulling the ball back to cleverly. Ask questions, be positive. Both teams really seem to have the handbrake on. Makes for a good photograph, that one, doesn't it? And the giveaway when goalkeepers save like that these days is that they actually catch it. <laughs> Everton's throw. Game started in lively fashion. It's been pretty tepid for large parts since then, but it looks as though it might end on a brisk note. It certainly has. Mikel. Costa, arm in arm with Leighton Baines, and now dishing out a bit of stick to Peter Kirkup, the man with the flag, who's uh, very quickly waving away the angry Chelsea player. Is he ever any different? He started the half like that, he's ended the half like that, but he, or neither he nor anybody else, have managed to find the net so far. Not been the greatest, but there's plenty of promise for things to come. I refer you back to when the sides met in January in the Premier League. It finished 3-3, but it was 0-0 at half-time. Everton 0, Chelsea 0. Thank you, Gary. And we could also back that up. Oh, I'll just break off because we've got Speedo Mick there, who uh, raises a lot of money for charity, wearing just his swimming trunks. Other brands are available. And uh, it's just a warning to Gary as well, because that's how he might look presenting match of the day at the start of next season. It's getting closer. It's going to be Everton to kick off the second half. I was just going to tell you that, in the Premier League at least, more goals have been seen in Everton games than for any other team. 90 goals in 28 Premier League games. I won't say surely it can't finish goalless, but the odds are pretty good. There's Aspilicueta looking for Fabregas. No changes made to either team for the restart. It's as we were at the start of the game. Gareth Barry found cleverly, who couldn't quite dink it into the path of Barkley. Pedro. Fabregas was making progress down the right. Are we expecting a little bit more space as the game goes on, Martin? Well, we are. It seems very flat at the start of this second half. I think both teams really uh, haven't really got the confidence to push on and try and win it. They're more frightened of losing it. And perhaps therein lies the rub with, as mentioned at the start of the game, with a lot of ground to make up in chasing Europa League qualification, let alone the faint hope of Champions League as far as Chelsea are concerned. And uh, lose this, and it, it is pretty much season over in terms of what can be achieved. There's Fabregas. And here is Aspilicueta. Pedro. Baines deals with Aspilicueta. 
Pedro then gets the better of cleverly. At least initially, he's then running out of play. Well, first of all, it's a bad ball from Pedro, and then he just goes into a spin almost. He needs just to calm down and play his football. We know he's a player at the highest level. He's certainly not showing it tonight. Can't Can play football with, with, with fear, though, Guy. You've got, to, you've got to go out there to win every game of football. You've got to love it. Oh, and Diego's Costas case. Hate it. Seems to work just as well. Cut out by Kennedy. There is Costa. Nice little bounce back to Kennedy, but it's run away from him. Lennon. Barry. Now cleverly. Baines is arriving. Cross blocked as soon as it left his boot by Aspiliqueta. I think that was the intention. Baines wanted to deliver that ball early. Lukaku lurking in the box. McCarthy. Ross Barkley needs to get into the game more for Everton. Certainly high up the pitch. He's coming very deep to get it. He scored in the last two rounds. Everton winning at Bournemouth and at Carlisle. In the third round, they beat Dagenham and Redbridge here. Yet to concede a goal in the FA Cup this season, the Toffees. It's very safe, isn't it, from Everton? They don't go forward. They keep going sideways. Now backwards. Definitely comes from a general mentality from the manager, from looking back at my career. Managers that wanted that ball going forward, positive. No backward steps. Can't be fouled by Cahill. Everton free kick. He's already off balance when Cahill came in. Just invites the challenge. And he's just delaying until Phil Jagielka has joined the attacking party. And then the ball isn't played in towards him anyway. And Jagielka will now start to make his way back. Well, that's ridiculous. Nothing more annoying than centre-half. You go all the way up and then the ball doesn't come in. Barkley missed control. It nearly worked. It nearly went through to Gareth Barrett. And it's gone behind. Curtis Ivanovic, Everton corner. Bit of a gift of one. Everton fans are trying to lift their team. And this time the ball will at some point presumably come somewhere near Jagielka, who's on the move in the area. Clevel is delivering. Funes Mori met it. But he didn't get over and above the ball. He got underneath it. Well, you can see he's annoyed with himself. He gets up fantastically well. Great ball in. He hangs there. Just can't steer it into the net. I think it's Ivanovic. He just does enough just to put him off. Missed opportunity. Launched away by Courtois. Again, it's not a, a brilliant clearance by the goalkeeper. He's not really been convincing since, well, sorry, this season. No doubt last year, but this year not so good. Eight games without a clean sheet is his current run. Chelsea's current run. There's Baines. He ran into Cahill. Cahill hurt. Fabregas. Matic. Now Pedro. Gonna have a run at Coleman. Joel Robles struggling a little bit with the cross. Here's Aspiliqueta. Fabregas wants it in the box. Nudged out of the way by McCarthy. Pedro to Diego Costa. Strong stat stuff from Seamus Coleman. Outstanding. That's how you deal with Costa. No nonsense. Kennedy loses Barkley. Lukaku. Great tackle that by Gary Cahill. Well, and he's just actually got injured earlier as well, so it's an even better one. He has to time this exactly right. Look at that good pace with his weaker foot. 
Outstanding. Well, the stadium held its breath there. Who would win the race? Cahill got it absolutely spot on. Barry. McCarthy. Barkley. And sold Lennon woefully short there, but play brought back for an Everton free kick. Michael Oliver explains exactly what it's for to Gary Cahill. Well, I think there's a pull or a tug. Yep, he's brilliant, the referee, he's seen it. Barkley in a much higher position at the start of this second half. That's where he needs to be. Everton in general in a higher position. That's exactly. Lukaku there stretching his groin on the edge of the box. I wonder if he's he's got a problem. We wouldn't want to lose him. Well, it is too far out for a direct Leighton Baines strike on goal. But we saw how well Ramiro Funes Mori got up last time. Trying to lose Cahill this time, and he managed it. Matic clears, flag up, offside, free kick Chelsea. Funes Morris is good movement. I wondered if it might be a handball there for a moment. Yep, very good. Outstanding, the linesman. Gets up really well, this fella. You know, hits him in the face. Chelsea fans have had their half-time refreshment and their voices have been refreshed. I'm sure Everton fans are making a lot of noise as well, but from our position we are surrounded by the visiting supporters at Goodison today. That's Ivanovic. Diego Costa kept it in, didn't keep Chelsea on the ball. Jagielka. Helped on by Lukaku, Lennon will try and pester Kennedy. And again. Lennon does well, Kennedy does well. Good battle, isn't it? Those two. I think he's thinking it came off Lennon. Everton get the call. Did come back off Aaron Lennon. Yep. Bonus for Everton. Leighton Baines to deliver. In from Baines, helped across by Barry. And it was William who got it away. Lovely under lights. Special place, Goodison Park. I wonder if this will be John Terry's final game here. He's played a few over the years. All depends, I suppose, on his next destination at the end of this season. I don't think his career's over by any means. was William, but uh, the referee's going to call play to a halt. A little bit of pushing and shoving, Coleman getting an unnecessary uh, barge from Pedro. I think Michael Bar Oliver, sorry Martin, his attention was on Diego Costa being down in that little melee. I think that might have been Barry that was just joining in with the fun. Look, there we are, we're just coming in, just letting him know. I can leave a bit on you as well. Costa not sure who did it, and he's trying to have a go at everyone. It's only 27, Diego Costa, there's a lot of game time left in his career, but you could just see him in films when he goes on to something else. <laughs> Interesting, he's never been sent off. Not for way. Chelsea. No. Here's Pedro, twisting and turning past Coleman. Barry turns away.
William wanted to find Pedro. There's Matic. And now Ivanovic. Fabregas. Through to Costa. Joel Robles drawn out of his goal. Somehow Diego Costa misses. It was a tight angle, but it looked as though it was going to roll over the line at any stage. It's a real let-off for Everton. Fabregas finds Azpilicueta. Matic trying to come on to it. Leonard did a good job of blocking him, allowed Jagielka to clear. But Chelsea are sensing something now. Diego Costa. I think even he thought he'd scored, you know. Well, there's Fabregas initially in acres of space in that midfield. Look at him there, you see him on the ball. Great run from Costa. Robles, I'm not sure Robles, he comes too far for me and he just hasn't got the angle to finish it. He's on his left foot. Just agonising across the goal. God, probably Philly should have put it in, but it's hardly any angle from there. He Steve thinks it's in. And Gus Hiddink yeah. thought it was in. Just shows you, though, you give Fabregas that kind of space, and he'll punish you. Barry. Lennon gives up the chase. Well, now it's opening up. And there is the feeling that we are getting closer to a goal. That's as close, pretty much, as Chelsea have come. It is, and it's a little taster for Everton of what Chelsea are capable of. Everything revolving around this man, though, Costa. Key to that. Just coming into some real form. I know all the histrionics that go with him are like a pantomime figure, but he's a some player as well. And it was widely thought that we wouldn't see him today after limping out of the action in the Champions League in midweek. William down. Free kick for Chelsea. Cleverly is the player who's committed the offence. The silly free kick to give away, and it's in a really dangerous area as well from look at Everton's recent form here, conceding goals. Yeah, it was last week against West Ham when they allowed 27 crosses from open play. Well, here's one from a set piece. Lukaku stayed out of it, everybody else back for Everton. Willian in. Diego Costa who went for it, and Coleman who headed away. And Coleman down after being the latest player to have a brush with big bad Diego. Well, he's got the full force of that. I think it's a clash of heads. It's a fantastic header, though, you have to say. The bigger man coming in is, must be favourite, but look at that, how brave he is. Well, Costa's not done an awful lot wrong at all there. No, I'm not sure Costa had any chance of really winning that, though. He's a tough Irishman, Coleman. That's the hour mark. Everton nil, Chelsea nil in the FA Cup quarter final. McCall, another free kick. Second half is littered with stoppages and niggly little fouls, and this one's gone Everton's way. Barry down, and it's going to be a booking for Fabregas. He's certainly going to have a few bumps and bruises, Barry, in the morning. Pull yeah. the studs on the knee. Yeah, and it looks deliberate to me. He knows he hasn't got the ball there, and there's like a double movement. They can be nasty. Not sure why he's shaking his head. Kennedy heads it out. Into Lukaku, Coleman, Cahill got in the way, Everton corner. 
Just a simple throw in into Lukaku. Coleman following his run. Do get the feeling that if Everton are to break through, the full-backs are going to play a part. Baines getting forward now too. Definitely they're relying on the... Got to be someone running from deep to give support to Lukaku. And it will be Baines going forward to take this latest corner. It's over Jagielka and it is nice and easy for Thibaut Courtois. Just about the most simple thing he's had to deal with all afternoon. Love to see goalkeepers though coming and claiming. Takes all the pressure away. John Obi Mikel. Costa was wanting it. Matic to William. Diego Costa. Fabregas. Here's Pedro. Good ball into William. Just bounced awkwardly away from him, though. Barkley. Lukaku. On to McCarthy. Lukaku straight away wanted the return. Good interchange play there from Everton, not coming to anything. Good defending in the end from Cahill. Mikel finds William. Only Costa ahead of him. Diego Costa. Seems reluctant to use Pedro. Javier. Javielka eventually took the ball from him. Matic. Pedro. It's Kennedy's cross. And as Pilicueta can't keep it alive and is late in on Baines. He was never going to get there. Flag was waved. Advantage is now waved for Everton. It's Barkley. Here's Lukaku. Baines and Aspilicueta back to their feet and chasing back. Here's Baines. Barry. Lennon miscontrolled. Does well to get back to his feet and win it back. Barkley. Lukaku invited to attack it. Everton corner. Well, it's end to end stuff again, isn't it? I thought the referee did it excellently well in that just to, to wave that on. Aspilicueta's tackle on Baines. Aspilicueta came out of it hurting more. I think so, I think that's from the original challenge. This was it. Yeah, this is Baines trying to clear it. Look, it just comes right down on the top of Aspilicueta's knee. That's really painful. Well, I was going to say, at first glance, it looked like Aspilicueta was late, but I think Baines was more the guilty party there. Helped across, Ivanovic very awkwardly, but effectively clears. Baines, it's lively now, and Barkley's lost it. Matic finds Pedro, he was just slipping as he tried to step inside, James McCarthy. Again, it's great defending, get tight to your opponent quickly. Pedro wants to knock it inside and get that initiative. Lukaku. Coleman. Lennon on the move. Nobody to cross to yet. Good work from Lennon. Baines coming in, demanding that he be allowed to hit it, and Barry took that chance away. There's Barclay, he does hit it. But he hits it high and wide. Well, Baines looked like he was just going to hit that one on the edge of the box. Do you think he was going to get there? Well, I thought maybe he would have done, actually. I mean, looking at his reaction afterwards, it breaks to him on the edge of the box. It looks like he's coming onto it, and then suddenly Barry takes it away. You need a better understanding from your players there, communication. And Barkley clearly felt it was on for the shot first time. Lukaku was wanting it tapped into the centre. Positive stuff from Everton, though. Definitely better from Everton, it's mostly on the, on the counter-attack. Lennon. And that's going to go out from Seamus Coleman. 
Let's get down to the touchline. It looks pretty fast from up here. I bet it's whizzing by down there, Graham Lasso. Oh, it's absolutely incredible, the pace of the game. Both sides managed to maintain that pace. Subtle difference for, uh, for Everton. Cleverly is playing much more narrow in this second half than he was in the first half. That's engaging the Chelsea midfield, and then it's allowing Barkley, who seems to be playing with a bit more freedom, slightly further forward, to start picking the ball up and putting an influence on the game. So he's getting more involved, and Everton are playing much higher up the pitch. Thank you, Graham. It's Chelsea getting high up the pitch now with Pedro. He had a hold of Jagielka. Jagielka had a hold of him. Everton free kick. Pedro knows, doesn't he? The defender's getting to that. He has a little bit of a, a tug. Well, again, the referee's right on it, isn't he, Michael Oliver? Having a fantastic game here. Probably make a mistake now, I've said that. <laughs> Don't curse him. The man with the ball in his gloves was sent off by Michael Oliver at the very start of the season, Thibaut Courtois. 2-2 against Swansea back in August. Goodness me, hasn't a lot happened since then. You could argue he hasn't been the same since. What's happened at Chelsea? Incredible, isn't it, how... where they are in the table at the moment this season. William. Uh, Barry thinks that he couldn't get out of the way. Free kick Chelsea, which they take very quickly, possibly too quickly. So quickly, Costa was offside. Here's Lennon. Coleman. Coleman and Bain spending much more time in the opposition half in this half than they did in the first 45. And they just keep coming, full of energy. Lots of pace, really testing Chelsea on this left-hand side for Chelsea. Coleman throws into Barry, who drifted into a, a position unseen by those in Chelsea White. Talking of unseen in Chelsea White or Blue, Alexandra Pato, the Brazilian international who was signed at the end of January, but. Hasn't kicked a ball for the first team yet. Not sure he will. On loan from Corinthians of Sao Paulo for the rest of the season. Wonder how much that's costing every week. Fair bit in rent wherever he's living, I'm sure. Loic Remy hasn't been seen too often this season either. He's uh, an option on the bench for Chelsea today. Of course, Radamel Falcao has been missing since, I think he's way back in October with a groin problem. I understand he is back in full training again. Whether he takes the field in a Chelsea shirt again is another question. There's Baines. Finding cleverly. McCarthy. Coleman's made a darting run. Barkley didn't feel the time was right. It is, as far as Jagielka is concerned. And Coleman's being forced back all the time by Pedro. Barkley. Lukaku. Slides it into Lennon. Lennon again just had to turn and fire blindly. Yeah, but it's Barkley, Lukaku and Lennon again. Linking really well. Pedro. Matic. William, as Pilaqueta is belting down the right, and Cleverly was going with him. Certainly doing his job defensively, Cleverly. Just feel when he gets it in wide positions on his left foot, he's, he's not putting the ball in the box, and Lukaku's getting pretty annoyed with it. They turn their back on a forward pass quite often, these Everton players. Barkley. Again, look where he picks up possession. Very deep, isn't it? You want him high up the pitch. Barry to Cleverly. Through towards Lukaku. Out comes Courtois. Good goalkeeping, helped by Ivanovic. Yes, but Guy, it was a forward pass from Cleverly for once. Baines. There's Fabregas. Mikel. 
second ball away had the feel of anywhere but here will do. There's going to be a stoppage and there's going to be a, a Chelsea substitution. Maybe comes at the right time, just get the feeling that Everton are starting to ramp it up a little bit. And Oscar is going to take the place of fellow Brazilian William. Oscar scorer of a hat-trick in the fourth round. And that 5-1 breeze at MK Dons for Chelsea. William looks strangely unhappy tonight, not really at his, at his best, was he? Still a fine player in Oscar, though. Had a mixed season, though, to be fair, hasn't he? Improved under Hiddick, maybe. And yet, maybe still not 100% trusted, because Hiddick seems to have used him as a substitute as often as he started him, if not more. But in the FA Cup, he's performed outstandingly well. And here's Matic. Another whose season has not been what it might have been. Mikel. Ivanovic. Matic to Pedro. Diego Costa. Matic is being tracked all the way by McCarthy. And well, that was tired and strange. Well, it's just when he gets into those forward positions, has he got the, the energy, the quality at the end of it? And this was something for Courtois to do a few moments ago. It was, that's excellent goalkeeping, because Lukaku just gets a toe on this, just to go round him, look, good pace, reads it well, takes his defender out as well, like that. That's cleverly. Barkley, he's always going to lose out to Kennedy. In terms of who got to the ball, Kennedy used the ball well. Growing in confidence, a young man. Fabregas. Oscar. Kennedy has gone forward from left back. He's part of this attacking move now. Lifted in towards Diego Costa and turned away from Kennedy by Seamus Coleman. He did make his presence felt. Just by being there, he's got Chelsea a chance from the corner. He did, it's a teasing ball in as well, isn't it? Just from Oscar, just helps it in and just awkward one to deal with. Coleman just keeps his eye on it, just puts it out of play. And declared by Barkley. Pedro to Matic. Everton's throw. How do you feel Tom Clevel is done? He's missed a game or two with a chest infection, been under the weather. Well, he's a player, isn't he? he's not played for England now since 2013. He's a player looking to get his career back on, on track. He's, been, he's had injuries this season. He's a player that Martinez believes in. I just feel like I like to see him play the ball forward more confidently. He's been at big clubs. I think there's more there to come out. McCarthy. Funes Mori. Loads of room for Leighton Baines. Oscar's getting across to him now. Barry. Aaron Lennon. Lovely control. Lennon jinks away from Kennedy. And plays it over. Cleverly in Lukaku, and Oscar does brilliantly to deceive Baines. Diego Costa, Pedro's there. Oscar's getting forward. Costa. Fabregas. Demanded it back from Matic. Oscar wants it outside the penalty area. It's even further back to Mikel. He should be giving that to Oscar. Fabregas. That's Piliqueta. Barry. Oscar. Good work from Gareth Barry. Barkley. Lukaku. Lukaku and Lennon heavily outnumbered. Lukaku shows great strength there, though, and goes on. It's Lukaku! It's a brilliant goal!
Lukaku nets against the club that sold him. Sheer brute strength and a wonderfully composed finish. Well, Guy, it was like a man mountain there. He come alive. Unbelievable strength that he shows. And at the end of it, to have the finish that he does, incredible. Such power, strength, pace. Look at him here, look, pointing where he wants that ball. And from now on, he takes charge. He wants to just blast through those two players. Holds Aspilicueta off, get away. You've not got the strength for me. And he's looking for that target, gets it on his left foot. Beautiful finish. It's all of his qualities that he has, all in one there. They love him here. What a finish. That is special. We've had to wait a while to see something special in the game. We've seen it now. Romelu Lukaku scores for the fourth game in a row and gets his 24th goal of the season to take Everton a step closer to Wembley. Well, you see what it means to Martinez as well. He's the player. He paid, he paid the money, 28 and a half million for him. Everyone raised their eyebrows. Chelsea, what would they do to have him now? Mourinho said he wasn't good enough, he couldn't link. <laughs> it looks good enough to me. Don't need to link when you can bulldoze like that. Everton 1, Chelsea 0. I think Dixie Dean would have been proud of that one, wouldn't he? Oh, that was a proper oh. Everton centre-forwards goal. He's six away from netting 30 in the season. Nobody's done that for Everton since a certain Gary Lineker did. Here's Pedro. Here's Barkley. Run back by Cahill, who was on his way back. Pedro. Swinging away from Joel Robles. Turned away from Cahill by Cleverly. Of course, the question now for Everton is, can they, just for a change, hold on to what they have? Well, this is the task, and you look there, they're just on that forward. They just want to go forward at all times. Barkley losing it, invites... Pre I think it's as much as the stadium here. The fans, the excitement, and they, they, they make this Everton team go after attack after attack, and it needs to be steady heads in an Everton defence. Chelsea now will need to do something, need to react. Bill Kenwright's seen it all before. What a new experience for Farhad Moshiri. Such, the... a, such a buccaneering run, wasn't it, from the big man? It's the way, the way that he gets through. We all knew what he wanted to do, but we just we didn't think he was capable of doing that. Incredible goal. And as soon as Maury being forced to the floor by Cahill, Everton free kick, they can take some time out of the game now. Less than 10 minutes of the 90 minutes to go. I wonder if Martinez is thinking about a substitution. You know, does he now do something to the tactics just to, just to see this one through, 10 minutes to go? Well this is, worth another look, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. You know, it's just that bad this time now, he looks up, sees the picture, Aspilicueta is a strong boy, he just palms him off. He's just getting the ball into a position where he can find that back of the net. From where he takes the ball, it just looks as though there's nothing on. What a bet. Well, it's just produced the angle that he needs, where he carries it to. Perfect angle for him. Chelsea throw, but before the Chelsea throw, a Chelsea change. And it's got to be go for broke time. It's a striker on Loic Remy. It's a holding midfielder off in Nemanja Matic. It's got to be done. He's got to go for it now. Chelsea, their season looking like it's coming to an end. Still time, though, for Chelsea. There's Barrett. Mikel can't stop it. Through to Lukaku. Flag has stayed down! Lukaku does it again! Everton on their way. Once again, 
It is wonderfully well taken by Romelu Lukaku. Chelsea are asking the question, should the flag have been raised? Well, Ivanovic is saying it's a soft goal. He finds himself in acres of space, look, just keeps him on side. There's no doubt about it, this time it's the right foot, straight through the goalie's legs. It's the power of the shot, though. A legend is being born here tonight, Guy. The fans are really taken to him. We've seen, they've seen them throw away opportunities already this season, a 2-0 up last week. So I think that's the task now. Expect Martinez to make a change, but this fella, he's certainly done his job tonight. Kept quiet for the vast majority of the game. And that's what he's there for. And now we have another flashpoint that Michael Oliver is going to take himself away from and think about what he's seen and work out what to do with. Guess who's involved? He's already been booked, hasn't he? Well, the yellow is out, I think, for Barry, and it's out again for Diego Costa. He's off early, he's sent off for the first time in his Chelsea career. And he's sent off with a chunter. Chelsea's day is falling apart. Their season looks just about over. Well, this isn't much about frustration, it's his reaction. It's Barry involved again. For me, that's not, that's not a wild challenge, but he gets up and he wants to have it with him. Barry just holds his ground. He's perfectly entitled to do that. And he's sticking his head into his face. And a bite. There's, uh, a, there's a bite. We can't be sure of that. Well, in the end, it all seems ends with a hug. Both players on a booking. Some will argue he's unlucky there, but he's, he's just gone charging into Barry. And it looks as though he's going to do it and maybe thinks better of it. Maybe more of a kiss in the end. But I'm afraid Diego Costa's been kissed goodbye. On comes John Terry to play centre forward. Kennedy, the player who's made way for the captain. Well, this Chelsea team never surprise you, do they? Here's Lukaku. Hammered away by Ivanovic. I think Lukaku just getting carried away there in his excitement to run after that one. And the first time he forced his own way in, the second time he was played in, and it looks as though he's knocked Chelsea out. There's Barkley. Can't keep it. Pedro. Barkley fouls the Spaniard as he tries to win it back. Everton 2, Chelsea 0 in the dying stages. And John Stones is going to come on for what is left of the game. Well, it's a perfect decision, isn't it? Get Stones on, take this thing out of the game. Chelsea down to ten men. It's almost job done. Baines. There's Oscar. That's cleverly. This is Lukaku. He's trying to find Barkley. Mikel is playing at the back now with Terry very much up alongside Cahill, centre-back, centre-forwards. Now Gareth Barry has caught Fabregas, he's going to get a second yellow, it's going to finish ten aside. Well, that's just stupid from Barry, isn't it, from an experienced player, should know better there. He's gone charging in after Fabregas. You know, it's, it's a booking because it's a cynical challenge. Just when you're looking for your senior players to be strong. That's what. 
three minutes after getting a yellow card for his part in the Diego Costa red. And he gets a red of his own. He's actually sent off at Chelsea just over a year ago in a 1-0 defeat at Stamford Bridge. It's the second time he's gone this season. He was sent off against Arsenal back in October. Means he won't be playing against Arsenal next weekend here in the league. Aaron Lennon's going off. Yeah, it's been excellent today. Great outlet for them. Burn favourite now here with the fans. This is work rate. You know, it's infectious, really. The crowd here, they want you to work hard, to press, to show pace. And he's bought into that. And on comes John Stones. You may remember, back in September, Everton 3, Chelsea 1, thanks to a Stephen Naismith hat-trick. It came off the back of Chelsea repeatedly trying to buy Stones. And all around the ground, you heard that afternoon, money can't buy you Stones. Seems quite appropriate, really. Can't buy me love, produced by Sir George Martin, who passed away earlier this week. Right now, Chelsea need help. That's Funes Mori, demanding a free kick, but doesn't get it. Here's Mikel. Fabregas to Oscar. There's Remy. Didn't really catch it. Didn't believe he could. Seems to go very nervy here, doesn't it, when, when, whenever Everton go in front. Chance to get one now, it really will be on edge, but they won't get one with balls in like that. That is easy for Joel Robles. Now very much first choice here with Tim Howard benched. There's Lukaku. Great chest control, isn't it? Ironic, the man at Chelsea, they, where they let him go, wouldn't they want to build a team around him now? Pedro. Pedro running Barkley and Coleman. Remy. Fabregas. See Chelsea moving the ball much quicker now, but it's too late. Why weren't they doing this earlier on? That's Mikel, the little chip through to Remy. Baines will deal with that in a fashion. Ivanovic. Three up front, Remy, Cahill and Terry. Has Terry touched it yet? Pedro. Oscar. Nes Mikel. Cahill will go for it, and Joel Robles will get it. Do you remember any times when Keown and Adams went up late on in games? Well, I certainly wasn't sent up, but uh, I do remember Tony going up the odd occasion. I think he scored a goal, didn't he, very late on when we won it in 98. Ball from Steve Bold. Thumped in against Everton. Certainly was. Fabregas to Mikel. Up towards John Terry, he'll touch it now, and he'll touch it from an offside position. Not for a second, as though he was going to take it quite nicely. It looks as though if this really is to be his last season, his last few games in a Chelsea shirt, he's not going to win anything in this last season. Well, he's won the FA Cup five times, which is an incredible record, you have to say. Ross Barkley. Has got himself more into the game in the second half, a peripheral figure in the first. Well, I think Ross Barkley is a wonderful talent. Great player, the way that he carries the ball. His link up with Lukaku, vitally important to Everton. And he's uh, wandering off to the touchline to get high praise from Roberto Martinez and a hug from the man who's replacing him, Mohamed Bezic. And he's coming on for the final few minutes for Everton. Barkley had a lot of injuries, didn't he, in early in his career, broke his leg. It's great to see a young man finally coming through, fulfilling that promise. And Stones, that wasn't convincing, nor is that from Jagielka. Remy. Bezic immediately involved. But he's asked him far too much of Seamus Coleman there. Pedro.
Coleman. It's won by Cahill. McCarthy. Gets it out. Chelsea's throw. It's gone very scrappy, isn't it? Everton happy with this, just want to see the game out. The change is happening thick and fast too. And there's going to be one heck of an ovation here for Romelu Lukaku, whose work is done, winning the game for Everton. That first goal will be talked about for quite some time. Yeah, here it is. We're going to take a look at it again. Such a powerful player, he's first class, they just love it, they want a hero here. You've had your Bob Latchfords, your Dixie Deans, your even Gary Lineker and Graham Sharp, huge heroes here. Lukaku's a modern day player they look up to. And Lukaku makes his way and new signing Umar Nias comes on for just his fourth Everton appearance. Signed for big money from Lokomotiv Moscow at the end of January. Didn't Roberto Martinez need this today? Oh, he was coming under some pressure. You know, it's a family club here. I'm sure Martinez's job is, is quite safe, but up until today, they really have been underachieving as a team, as a club. He's got the, the players at his disposal. He's just got to, he's got to bring the dream to these fans, hasn't he? They're going to Wembley, down to London for the day. Look, there's Chelsea fans that are hurting as well. That dynasty they built, Chelsea slipping away. With John Terry set to leave with Gus Hiddink leaving after his second spell. Antonio Conte, we think, the boss of Italy is going to be the next boss. It does feel a little like the end of an era at Chelsea, doesn't it? Well, it certainly is, and uh, you know, all good things must come to an end. I'm sure Abramovich will rebuild again and spend big. We'll need to. Up goes Terry, down goes Terry. Oh. Stones safely back to Joel Robles. Michael Oliver just checking to see whether Terry McCarthy and Jagielka are all okay. Leighton Baines, James McCarthy. Everton fans are screaming for the full time whistle. We have played more than the four minutes that was indicated, but there'll be no more play at Goodison Park today. Everton fans have really enjoyed what they've seen though. And Fahad Mashiri, the Iranian billionaire who's bought into the club, will be thinking this is money really well spent. Goodison Park has been at its best and will make an awful lot of noise for a little while longer yet. For Gus Hiddink, it's been a bad week. Chelsea out of the Champions League, out of the FA Cup, and for some time they've been out of contention in the Premier League. It's Everton's day, it's another massive day for their massive striker, Romelu Lukaku. Everton 2, Chelsea 0.